Now that the glue is dry on your portrait, it looks like it's disappeared, but if you close your eyes and you feel, you'll feel the outlines of the portrait. We can feel these contour lines that we outlined in glue. Make sure these guidelines that we drew that crisscross are also gone. Now, the directions call for soft pastels. That's chalk. So these are chalk pastels. And you can see I don't have very many chalk pastels at my house. You can also use crayons for this. The crayons will be just fine. You, they're just, they just don't blend as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put the skin color in here, or a skin color, sort of this, this base color, and then you can add chalk um, to make the skin darker or lighter, depending on your own skin color. And with chalk, what's great is you just rub in a small circle with your finger and it will blend together and make a new color that is lighter or darker. Sometimes I'm really pink, so sometimes I'll put a little bit of red chalk on my finger. See how I can get it on my finger like that? And I will just blend that in there because I am a little bit uh, pink in my skin color. So this tone is a little bit darker for me, but just to show you that it can be darker or lighter, and you can start to see when I rub over the areas where the lines are close together, like here where my eyebrows are, can you see how the glue leaves a white line there? It's gonna leave a little space there. I'm going to put a little bit of red on this side so I don't look so, so pale. I wish I was this tan, but I'm just not. I'm just sort of sugar cookie colored. I wish I was more peanut butter colored. All right, here we go. Don't forget those ears. What's great about chalk is it, it will spread around. What's not great about chalk is it will spread around. So if you put your hand in it, it'll get all over your paper. So I always like to use, you know, these three fingers to add my um, chalk pastel with. And I'm gonna start out with a little bit of that darker color because I have a shadow underneath my chin. My chin sticks out away from my neck and it just makes my neck appear a little bit darker and then it's just going to get lighter as it comes down here underneath my chin. Now you can see I've got a lot of dust with my chalk and if you have a lot of dust with your chalk you want to be really careful not to blow on it. We don't want to go <gasps> all over our paper. Okay, because if we do that, the chalk is going to blow all over our paper, all over our table. It's going to mix all of our colors up. So what I like to do is I like to take my drawing, and if I'm on a mat like I am here, I can just tap it. Okay, if I don't have a mat that I'm working on, I can go to the trash can, and I can do the same thing to the edge of the trash can. Tap, tap, tap. It will get that extra clay, that little chalk dust off of there, and I can keep working. Okay. If I go outside the lines a little bit, I'm not too worried about it. So for this first part, we're just worrying about adding those more realistic colors to our face and our hair and those kinds of things. Um, sometimes I even like to use a Q-tip. I don't have one handy here, but that helps me get inside those little areas. So I like to keep these little Q-tips handy. You might find these in the bathroom at your house because they're really good for kind of getting in those really small areas. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this red and then I'm gonna get a little bit of this sort of neutral skin tone on my, on my Q-tip. And I can get in there in those places that are a little harder to blend so I don't really want my lips to be this color I want them to be just a little bit lighter than that so I'm going to go ahead and blend them in here 
and you can see the glue leaves a little white outline around my shapes and things. I can go ahead and leave the corners of my eyes white, but I'm gonna go ahead and add my, my eyes are kind of bluish gray, so I'm gonna get a little bit of this blue and um, not gonna make it gray. I guess I can add a little, I'm nervous to add too much black. Let's see. The chalk will only stick to the paper. It will not stick to the glue. So if you have a blobby area in your eye, it's not going to stick very well. So that's not getting quite dark enough for me. So I'm going to get my chalk and I'm actually going to draw on the center of my eyes there. I'm going to go ahead and tap that dust off and I don't want to get that blue everywhere. This kind of is, it looks very blue on the chalk, but when I put it on my picture, it's mixing up a little bit with my pencil line, which is just perfect for me because I have these sort of gray, um, I'll get a little bit of black on there, gray colored eyes. They're not really super blue. And then I'm gonna use my pencil actually. I, I don't know that, I, that it's gonna make that much of a difference, but I have a glue spot in the middle and so I'm going to go ahead and color over that with my pencil because my chalk is not going to stick to it. So I might have to use a, a marker or something like that. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, she's really coming to life. Now for the hair. Let's see. This is really yellow for my hair. Um, it's a little too yellow. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow in here. And then I'm going to add a lot of brown because this my hair is not nearly this yellow. It's kind of like a light really light blonde or i mean a really light brown if you have a darker color hair you're going to use two colors as well my colors are brown and yellow but your colors might be brown and black or your colors might be um, brown and the skin that neutral kind of peach color and you can see it doesn't really much look like hair right now but i did a really good job of using the glue lines uh, drawing in those glue lines. So now what I'm going to do is take my finger and if you watch, you'll see that glue line that I drew appearing to create texture in my hair. Pretty cool, huh? Anything that, anywhere the glue is, stays the color of the paper. So if we were working on black paper, the lines would be black, but since we're working on white paper, it's kind of leaving this white line. While I have this color on my finger, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do my eyebrows. So I have a lot of this color on my finger, so I'm gonna see if I can get it in here in my eyebrow. Yeah, that's a pretty good color. Eyebrows are sometimes a little different than our hair color. All right, sometimes I'll draw straight on a shape, like where my earrings are right here in this little space here. And sometimes I'll use, like you just saw me using my Q-tip to kind of go around my shape. And that just depends on how dark or light I want my shape to be. So I want these gold items to be really gold, but I didn't want my eyebrow to be really, really um, bright yellow. Okay. Hmm. Now for my shirt. I think I want to have a purple shirt. I'm going to put some purple chalk in here. I might add a little bit of white in here with it. That'll make it a little bit of a tint, a little bit lighter color. And then I'll need to add a little purple inside here. And all I have to do is blend it. Oh, that's pretty dirty though. I'm just going to rub that on my palm of my hand for right now. You do not want to wash your hands while you're working with chalk pastels because Water is not your friend when you're working with chalk pastels. So you want to keep them nice and dry. That's when they like to move around. If you get up and wash your hands and get up and wash your hands and get up and wash your hands, 
you're kind of going to have a little bit of a muddy mess on your paper. So if you're using the chalk, this is definitely the way to go. Okay. All right. Let's give it a tap. It's like my nose is a little light. There we go. That was a little better. All right, and there's my portrait so far. We're gonna add some expressive color to the background, but we have an activity to do before that. 